All right, violins, this is everything you need to know to play the Mahler. I'm gonna cue you when you start playing, when you stop playing, when you go from pitzing to bowing. It's all right here in this video, and this is exactly how we're gonna do it for our concert and for the next two rehearsals. So if you're practicing with this video at home every day, it just becomes easier and easier each time. And when we get together to play, you'll know exactly what to do. Okay, two things to, re to keep in mind. You're either going to be plucking, which is called pizzicato, or bowing, which we call arco. Um, and I will cue you to know when to, when to go from the pits to the arco. So don't worry about that at all. So let's review how to do a really good pizzicato bow hold. So oftentimes we need to be able to keep the bow in our hand when we do pizzicato. So this thumb, wherever your thumb is, some people have it inside. Most people have it inside. Some of you might have it outside. Wherever it is, you're going to, with these little fingers, you're going to, and your thumb, you're going to grab your bow like this. So do a couple practices going from your bow hold. Put your thumb outside. Then the um, frog sort of rests inside the palm of your hand with these three fingers. And then you're free to do your pizzicato like this. Okay, so bow hold pizzicato bow hold and here's your thumb it goes right here on the corner of your fingerboard and your finger your index finger is going to pluck independently like this and put your first finger on the g string and if you have a nice tunnel finger using your fingertip swing your elbow in just a little bit you should be able to leave your one down while you go over to pluck be very careful what you're doing with your bow because you don't want to accidentally hit your friend <laughs> that's right next to you. Uh, and you don't want it banging down on your strings either. So it should be about in an angle like this. So do a little bit of pizzicato practice first and then practice going into your arco hand. Okay, and then at the very, very end, um, the little tag that we have at the end is gonna do, we're gonna do eight pizzas, pizzas one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we play a D, rest, D, rest, D. That's the very ending, but I will cue you for all that. When you play the melody, keep it very legato and kind of mysterious. Like you're telling a really cool story. So don't let your audience know that you're doing something very fancy here. It's going to be very smooth. Keep your bow arm very fluid so that you can do all those string crossings very cleanly. Okay, so here it is. There'll be four clicks. And then we start our pizzicato. So get your instrument up, get your pizzicato bow hold ready. I'm gonna click go. Oops! <laughs> that was not the right thing. Okay, sorry about that. Little surprises. Okay, violins up, nice posture. And get your um, bow holds ready for pizzicato. Get your first finger on the, on the G string. And here we go. One, two, ready.
Congratulations, you just played Mahler's first symphony in the third movement. All right, have fun practicing.